The following presentation will explore how injection molding tooling works by analyzing the Lego bricks. This presentation will give a brief explanation of the manufacturing process that is undergone in the production of Lego bricks, followed by a few interesting facts about the Lego brick. Finally, a detailed explanation of how the mold operates and how the parts get ejected from the mold will be given using a series of images, animations and videos. How are Lego bricks made? Lego bricks are mass produced through the process of injection molding. This process allows a wide variety of materials to be used, including metal, glass and a variety of plastics. For this particular process, the molding is done in five steps. 1. The two-part high-precision steel mold closes. 2. The mold material is injected. 3. The formed part is cooled. 4. And the resin, resin becomes plasticized. 5. The part is ejected. This ejection leaves ejector pin marks on the inside of the part, but due to clever design choices, it is very well hidden. A few interesting facts about the LEGO brick. LEGO bricks are currently made from ABS, but LEGO is exploring new and more eco-friendly alternatives. The injection molding process takes place at 232 degrees Celsius. Molten ABS is forced into the mold with a force ranging from 25 to 150 tons of pressure. The entire molding process that we described earlier takes place in 7 seconds, resulting in 36,000 LEGO bricks being produced each minute globally. Machines are used to perform drop, torque, tension, compression, impact, and even bite tests to ensure high standards of safety and quality are met. The high standards at which LEGO bricks are produced mean that all LEGO bricks that have ever been produced can still fit together. How the mold and ejector pins work Multiple LEGO bricks are produced at the same time, so a multi-cavity and multi-core two-part mold is used. The molds are manufactured to a very high tolerance of 0.002mm. Single molds can cost up to $200,000 each and are routinely tested and cleaned by a certified LEGO team to ensure high accuracy and consistent production. To ensure that molten plastic reaches each brick, a series of sprues and runners are used. The runner system is also designed within the mold to remove excess plastic from the bricks. This excess plastic, as well as runners and sprues, can be reused to make future bricks. The LEGO brick is produced in a one-step molding process which increases production time by removing the need for fettling or any manual processes. To speed up the cooling process of the LEGO bricks, water is pumped through cavities in the mold. Once cooled, the LEGO bricks are ejected using a variety of ejector pins. Examples will be shown shortly. This animation shows the molten plastic being injected, flowing down runners into the bricks. The plastic then cools and the solid plastic bricks are finished. This video shows the wide variety of ejector pin designs that are used to remove the LEGO bricks from the molds. This video has been slowed down as the actual process happens in a blink of an eye to ensure high speed production. LEGO bricks connect to one another using a series of studs and tubes, which is one of the reasons why LEGO bricks are injection molded, as opposed to being produced through other methods. To create this connection system, a series of ribs are molded within the part. They create firm connections between each brick and also strengthen the part. By using internal ribs to break up the outside walls, a thinner wall thickness is possible, saving time, money, and weight. Thank you for watching our presentation. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we will now be happy to answer any questions.